Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. R.B. Kushoha, Assistant Professor in the Division of Botanical Clinical Complex, FBSC and AH Scots Chamber. Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification. Uh, today we are going to discuss a uh, basic but uh, very important topic that is orientation of the radiograph or how to display radiograph on X-ray viewer or illuminator for the interpretation so any radiologist whenever uh, he or she receive the radiograph from the radiographer so he or she has to interpret the radiograph by identifying any lesion of the concerned body part but before interpretation a radiologist must know how to display the radiograph over a X-ray illuminator or X-ray viewer. Before going to discuss uh, on actual radiograph, uh, let us see this picture. So the question is, which picture is easiest to read? So if you see uh, the, the this, if you see all these four picture, so definitely in a first look, anybody could say that this one is the right picture, or it is easiest to read, whereas this one which is upside down it is 90 degree rotated in the right side this one is rotated 90 degree on left side so these three views are difficult to read why why this is so because our mind our brain is uh, consistently seeing the object or any picture in a right orientation so this is the correctly placed picture so that's why if anybody see so this one is obviously the easiest to read now coming to the orientation of the different body part in a different view so first uh, uh, for lateral radiograph of the head neck thorax abdomen and pelvic so suppose if you have the uh, lateral radiograph of these part so you display the radiograph in a such a way that cranial part or head of the radiograph is towards the left side of the viewer or radiologist whereas the caudal part of the radiograph is towards the right side of the viewer or radiologist and the vertebral column should be on the top of the x-ray illuminator Whereas the ventral part of the abdomen or body at the bottom of the X-ray illuminator. So uh, you could also understand by this picture. So whenever if you have the picture of uh, this one, so obviously you should display in a this way. If you see this, uh, find the correct orientation. So definitely after uh, knowing the fact, so this one is the correct orientation whereas the remaining three are incorrect so sometime you could able to see this one at least you could say that this is the this is the thoracic cavity this is the abdominal cavity but uh, there is a lot of difficulty because our mind has a consistent picture to see in this manner so that is why it is very very important to place the radiograph on x emulator in a right orientation or direction so for ventral dorsal or dorsal ventral radiograph of head neck thorax abdomen and pelvic so radiograph of uh, these body part should be display on the x-ray illuminator or uh, x-ray viewer in a such a way that the head or the cranial part of the body uh, should be on the top of the x-ray illuminator whereas the caudal or tail of the body part is at the bottom of the illuminator whereas the left side of the abdomen is toward the right side of the viewer or radiologist whereas the right side of the abdomen is towards the left side of the viewer or radiologist so ideally the picture should have been labeled but here in this picture it is not labeled so if you have the normal radiographic anatomy of the abdomen so by that you could easily uh, uh, say that uh, this is the fundus and this one is the pylorus this is the head of the spleen this is the 
kidney so this one is basically at this is the left side of the abdomen by the radiographic anatomy but at least it should have been labeled so find the correct orientation so if you see these uh, all these four radiograph uh, orientation so definitely you will find this this is the left side so this left side is at the left side of the viewer so this is not correct this one is the left side of the abdomen so this is the toward the right side of the viewer whereas the, this is the head is on the top and the tail is uh, at the bottom so definitely this one is the correct and this is the just by saying that okay this is the tail on the uh, caudal side here on the top so this two are not correct or it is display wrongly so now coming to the medial lateral or lateral medial radiograph of the limb suppose if you have the radiograph of a limb like uh, in this uh, uh, particular radiograph this is the radiograph uh, of uh, young animal of uh, radius and ulna so because the epiphysis uh, are open it is not fused so this is the young one so such radiograph is display over a uh, X-ray illuminator or X-ray viewer in a such a way that the proximal part of a uh, proximal extremity of the bone is on the top, and the distal extremity of the bone at the bottom. Where the cranial, this is the cranial, and this is the caudal aspect of the this radius, and this is the caudal aspect of the ulna. So the cranial part of the bone, it should be towards the left side of the viewer, whereas the caudal part of the yeah, caudal surface of the bone is towards the right side of the viewer. So this is the pictorial diagram, and this is the actual radiograph. So even uh, so, how you just how you how you could know that this is the uh, caudal so just just by the normal radiographic anatomy so that is why a radiologist must have the normal radiographic anatomy this one is the accessory carpal bone so this is the ulna this is the histolite process so now uh, question uh, which one is uh, in correct orientation so this is the radiograph uh, of uh, stifle joint including the femur bone and the proximal tibia so uh, by normal radiographic anatomy if you have the radiograph of the femur bone and the tibia so the patella is placed anteriorly so the patella should be towards the left side of the viewer whereas the uh, caudal aspect of the bone so if you have the radiograph of the tibia so by radiographic anatomy we know that uh, fibula is uh, placed posteriorly so in this uh, particular radiograph see so this is the fibula which is placed posteriorly so and the proximal extremity on the top so this is the proximal extremity and this is the distal so amongst the these four radiographs this one is the correctly placed whereas the remaining are wrongly placed although this particular radiograph you could identify you could say that this is the femur this is the tibia this is the epiphysis this is the patella this is the fibula but this is not a correct place because uh, this is a not normal radiographic anatomy and this is not uh, in our mind a consistent picture uh, which is uh, we learn from the dif different uh, reference book or textbook so this particular radiograph is only in the correct orientation. Coming to the craniocaudal or dorsopalmar or dorsoplantar radiograph. Suppose if you have the radiograph of a limb in a craniocaudal or in other words you can say anterior posterior or dorsopalmar. So we know that below the carpal joint in animals the cranial part is written as dorsal whereas the caudal part uh, is written as the palmar 
In case of the hind limb below the hog joint, the cranial aspect of the bone we uh, say a dorsal, whereas the uh, caudal part we name it a plantar. So, if you have the radiograph in this view, so you display the radiograph over the X-ray illuminator in a such a way that the proximal extremity of the bone uh, is uh, at the top of the X-ray illuminator, whereas the distal extremity uh, is towards the bottom or on the lower side of the X-ray illuminator, whereas the lateral aspect of the bone is towards the left side of the viewer whereas the medial is towards the right side of the viewer or radiologist so as i told in earlier a uh, radiograph that uh, fibula is placed uh, posteriorly in mediolateral view so in ap view so this uh, fibula as per the normal radiographic anatomy it is placed laterally so by the radiographic anatomy we say that this one is the lateral and this one is the medial so it is the correctly placed radiograph however in certain books it is mentioned that for the craniocaudal or dorsopalmar or dorsoplantar it is a freedom or it is up to the radiologist or it is hardly matter that whether you uh, place the medial toward the left side medial toward the right side uh, or medial toward the left side means you can uh, place the radiograph in either way so if you see the these uh, four radiograph so out of the four radiographs let's uh, first so the determine that whether the issue is correctly placed or not so the, this is the proximal extremity so this is uh, as far as proximal extremity is concerned it is okay distal one is okay so this one is proximal again okay this one is distal okay so here the in these two radiograph the distal extremity is on the top so this is the uh, these two are the obviously wrongly oriented radiograph it is not display in a right orientation so as per the uh, principle so these two radiograph you can say that is correctly placed because in craniocaudal view as I, I have just told that it's hardly matter whether you place the lateral side uh, towards the left side of the viewer or towards the right side of the viewer so in this way so these two radiographs are normally oriented so the, however this one is the medial and this one is the lateral because uh, this is the basically uh, craniocaudal view of the this radius ulna so th this one is the first uh, metacarpal which is uh, placed towards the medial side and this is ulna towards the lateral side so th this one is here this one is the medial and this one is the lateral so thank you very much for uh, watching this video and uh, if you like the video so kindly uh, share with your friend and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed the channel